guys and welcome back to our channel if you are joining us for the very first time you are very much welcome please don't forget to subscribe like and tap the notification bell ahead of the one subscribe so that every time i have a new recipe you are notified on the same so today we're going to be cooking tilapia stew or fish stew that it is very soft and very delicious let's get started my ingredients today of making the fish stew i'm going to be requiring the deep fried fish and i have the link of how i deep fried the, the fish in my description box so you can check it out and i have um, some coriander here some bell peppers you can use the colored ones if you prefer then we have um, for my sisters today i'm using just roiko and curry powder and then i have some onions and i have some garlic here some grated garlic of course my cooking oil is heating up in the pan I have my salt and I have my tomato puree so my oil has been heating up and you can see it is ready because you can see my wooden stick is doubling this means my oil is hot enough to cook my onions so I'm going to put my onions on the amount of cooking oil just make sure your cooking oil is enough just for the onions So I'm going to cook this until it's translucent, then I'll add my garlic. So my onion now is translucent, so I'm going to add just a pinch of salt to taste. Remember the fish have also been deep fried with salt. So I just add a little bit of salt. And now I'm going to add in my garlic. Remember I'm adding garlic this time because it always cooks faster than the onion. And I don't want my garlic burnt. So cook until golden brown. So now I'm going to add in my bell pepper and coriander. It's just a matter of choice. Coriander you can add it the last time or you can add it now as I added it so my tomato puree goes in. Give it a good stir. And please don't feel limited about the spices. If there's something that you like, then you can just add it. As for me, I settled for this too. I'm okay with them. We're going to let it cook for about five Five minutes. So I'm going to add a little bit of water. I'm going to make some stew here. Now I'm going to add in my fish. for about two minutes and it is ready because remember the fish are pre-cooked So you can see my stew is simmering. I said for about two minutes and it is almost ready now. You can serve this alongside chapati, rice or ugali with some greens of your choice. And that is how I prepare my stew. Remember you can also give it to the kids. It is very nice and very delicious. Kindly don't forget to subscribe to our channel and watch the rest of my videos in my, in my, in my channel. Until next time, bye bye. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake